How's it going guys? This is Najam. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you my favorite CPU and GPU monitoring applications. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the first application is called Mission Center. I'll make it a bit bigger. This application is basically like um, Windows Task Manager. So as you can see over here, you have all the stuff on the side. So you have the GPU over here. You can see the GPU uh, and then you have the main GPU over here. You can see these have been utilized and you can also see memory information disk as well as cpu information so you can see all the threads over here and it looks very nice as well and it does have some other features which i don't really use this for because it's basically like task manager um you see it's basically like windows task manager but it works on linux and it works really, really well you can see all the information on the cpu so it's been doing whatever it needs to um so this is a very cool very nice application if you want an application that's based on a gui this is a very very nice one now just a quick shout out to the gnome task manager or the uh, hardware monitor that's also an application that you can use but let's go ahead and jump into some of the terminal interface applications because I think terminals, you can make them look really nice, as you can see in this one. Maybe I should make it a bit bigger. First off, I do want to mention HTOP. HTOP is very cool. As you can see, it gives you like some sort of CPU monitoring on the top. You can change it about as well if you want. But this mainly is used for like things running in the background and then just basically just getting rid of them if they're messing about. So that's one application. I'm going to go over my two favorite applications. For GPU, I use NVTOP. Now NVTOP is uh, also known as NVIDIA top or something. Now this is designed for NVIDIA GPUs, I believe, but it's just a generic uh, GPU monitor. And as you can see, my GPU, baby GPU is being utilized. You have the encode, you also have the decode, you can enable and you can sort of customize it. You have the memory, which is always maxed out for some reason because it's only got like 512 megs. And you have the GPU number. So this is GPU one, which is the Radeon uh, 610M. And you also have the GPU zero, which is the dedicated GPU. And down here, you can actually do the same thing. You can uh, quit and then, you know, kill applications from down here. And if I full screen, you can see that uh, you can, uh, it's using GPU percentage. Um, so OBS is using it. It's very cool. It shows you the power draw of the GPU, but this is the iGPU. And so what it's doing is for the iGPU is showing the CPU power draw, I believe. Um, you also have the, um, the power draw for the nvidia gpu you have the memory over here you have the gpu utilization and you have the pci gen speeds the names uh you know all the stuff that you you'd want to see if going to set up you can change the uh, interval update and you can change like so many different things over here you can go ahead and select the gpus you can you have some options um, you can turn four things on from here. I believe you can turn on the fan uh, speed as well. Um, I don't want to leave any of these mess about with them because I've just got them set up the way I like. And this is an amazing application. So the second one is um, also has become my favorite, and that is Btop. Now, what I love about this application is you can make it look very, very nice. So, for example, if I go ahead and open up um, another terminal. Um, and I'll actually stack this one down and I have NVTOP running over on top so I can have NVTOP running like that and then I can have CPU usage down here but this application you can do a lot more with it so I'll show you what you can do with this application so this has become one of my favorite applications because if it just looks cool uh, you can press one two three four to um, show the um, different boxes so I can press one for the CPU box, which I've got looking like this. You have the memory box, you have the um, internet box, uh, you have the stuff running in the background, and number five is the GPU box. So you can have the GPU utilization in this if that's what you want. But I do like the look of NVTOP because of the way it updates. It's sort of like moving really fast. And it, in my opinion, I like that. I like it the way it looks. It looks nice. This also looks amazing. As you can see, looks very, very nice. But um, if you go ahead and press, um, options from press the escape button go to options uh, it's basically like a terminal user interface you can choose so many different things so you can choose the theme obviously you can change the theme if you want i'm going to make it look uglier uh you got different settings so you can go ahead and mess about with this you can change the milliseconds i don't recommend putting on higher because it looks a bit boring 
you can also change the uh, milliseconds from the top of the corner over here so you can change them up down so you can change the refresh rate on it well that's on the refresh rate you can change uh, different stuff so i go into the cpu i'll show you the cpu settings um you can change actually if i go to you can change it to different ways of displaying the cpu usage so right now it's basically like saying idle i think two percent um but you can change the way it looks it looks um you can make it look different go up into options to you can have the cpu at the bottom if that's what you want and so there's a, you can customize this to the way like if you like that's pretty nice and if you go into number three which is the gpu you can change like the gpu utilization that would pop up over here uh, of course you, know, you can have in blocks you can have different ones if you do want you can actually take off gpu usage i'll show you that in a bit uh let's go into number four number four is the memory stuff and you can have you know memory graphs enabled um so there's like stuff you can do make it look nice and the same thing with the internet again you can change the uh, way the um, graph looks so um you can actually disable gpu over here and i'll actually disable all the other ones because i only use it for the cpu usage and as you can see it looks amazing with all them threads um if i go into or go, go into options you can actually show the gpu usage down here i think i believe um show gpu info and this is basically going to show you the gpu usage um, as well as the memory usage and the temperature and the power usage so it's very small you can use this if you want if you don't want the um big gpu utilization down there um so you can have this part over here where oh, it's disappeared same thing with nvtop you have the transfers on the pci bus so you can see the receiving and the transmitting uh the gpu memory your memory usage vram usage and stuff the speed uh and stuff like that uh, but i actually just take that off Oh, if you go on auto, then it disappears. Okay, uh, I'd like to have it off because you have a separate GPU. And I have it like this. So the way I have it is because I do multitasking quite a bit, I have these on the side and I have NVTOP running over here. Um, and then I also have, I'll bring, bring in something from here. And then I also have that running as well. So this is what I use. So I have this and this. And this and you can see the updates on these is pretty fast it's like 100 milliseconds so it, you can see the graphs going up and down and it, it looks really cool so that's the reason why i have these on the other screen on my on my other screen and so it just looks very cool now i'm sure i missed out some application uh if you do have any suggestions or anything ask me in the comment section below let me know which one i did miss out which one you use um and i'll see you guys in another video